welcome to another journey on the spiritualplayboy.com. This time we are back at Costa Rica. We are seeding and landing for the first time ever the Remember journey, the Remember Brotherhood journey, whose intention is to support brothers to come together in circle, speak, heal, uh, show their vulnerability, show that they're supported, and remember through our collective presence what is our role as men in society and what are we here to do so i'm here with philippe philippe is our organizer and is the brother how are you doing i'm and doing really well how about you i'm, I'm amazing it's been good <laughs> we've been here for about a day and yeah so how do, how has this journey been for you in terms of the preparations for remember and ista which is following up right after the response has been amazing uh, this is our first time doing mm -hmm. this uh, doing this remember journey and and the men have shown up have shown up fully mm -hmm. and they've shown up enthusiastically and they're excited about the possibilities of remembering what it's like to be together mm. it's almost like this this remembering is about like looking towards the future mm. and we and the future our future selves are remembering who we are now as we move forward towards them mm. and so it's nice. beautiful and it's, it's beautiful also to remember for myself what it's like to be connected to men because yes. I, I, I used to be part of a men's circle that was really deep very powerful 100 men meeting every week wow and uh, I'm missing that mm. and right now what I'm excited about is the possibility of a global men's movement a global men's journey or or a global group and community of men that come together in different places around the globe and commu in community but also in multicultural engagement yeah I think that remember uh, brotherhood journey has the potential to do that mm -hmm. so this is it this is our seating mm -hmm. we're putting it in this land Alia mm -hmm. uh, Alia retreat, um, center. retreat center here in uh, Guanacaste Costa Rica I've done past videos here as this place has been developing mm -hmm. and now it's at a place where it could host at least 20 25 people mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. for this journey we're about a dozen which is a great number for uh, an initial journey journey and uh, here comes our bro and our lead mm -hmm. Nimai right on time hey Nimai how are you thrilled thrilled you want to give thrilled. us a couple words about how you feeling about this journey and what it means to you it means to me the connection it means to me to the sensation of coming back to my source coming back to my power coming back to my connection and coming back to love and it means to me, in a way, a revolutionary step in order to step to a different kind of life, different kind of society, different kind of structure, different kind of relating to the land. And the only way I see to, to do it now is with my brothers. Mm. It starts with the brothers. It starts with the brothers, so I'm really excited. I feel it's... Uh, we put last year a seed here and I see the first fruits and I can see already this tree go so much high and bring so much fruit for so many people so I'm really touched now. Yeah. Sweet. Settled into our little casitas here which are amazing as you've seen and uh, sitting on my balcony and I just noticed a family of monkeys in the trees so there's two here one there a bunch of them all the black spots in the trees I don't know if there's anything more to ask for in a journey in nature, but to be part of a pod of monkeys. So cool. can create and it can destroy is our power our power many times it can create and it can destroy it when we don't know how to use this power when we don't know how to be aware and conscious about this power we move in a way that destroys and doesn't serve life so in a way when we invite the spirit of the fire to come we invite the spirit to show us how to be a creator of this light in a way that serves. So if you are, we are not aware with fire, we can easily get burned. 
or we can easily burn the entire place, which is the same with our power. When we are not conscious and we are not aware, we can easily burn ourselves with this power, or we can easily burn the others around us. And one of the great gifts of the fire is that we can bring things into the fire and invite the transformation for them to come.